morning guys welcome back today i have a beautiful morning flow for you this will be your option for those days where you have maybe a little less time and you just want to start your day right and with some movement before we do get started remember if you want to stay up to date with everything that i'm offering at the moment there's a link to my newsletter below so make sure you sign up that being said we're going to start off as you are in your comfortable seat for me that's on my knees for you that might mean sukhasana cross-legged position just anywhere where you feel like you can get a little bit more length in the spine without drawing the shoulders back too much and a place where you can just settle. And then start by closing the eyes down. And just start to arrive this morning before we let the day take over our thoughts. Bringing your awareness to the four corners of the mat, into this space, into this body. Just letting the flesh relax around the bones. And then just notice the subtle energies you house this morning. Ask yourself, how do I feel? Make no judgment. Whether you're happy, calm, tired. Whatever it is, just be with it. Accept it. And let that settle for you. to notice the breath. Try not to control it at first. Just notice the ease and flow of it this morning. That subtlety of it passing in and out of the lungs, the nostrils. Maybe it's already perfect enough. You want to bring a little bit more intention to the breath. Take an inhale into the belly. Exhale through the mouth. Seal the lips. Breathe into the belly, the ribs, the chest. Exhaling from the chest, the ribs, down to the belly. Few more times breathing in to find that sensation of full. Exhaling all the way down. One more time, big inhale, filling ourselves up. And exhaling to completely release. And finally, just bringing the hands to the heart center for me. And I want you to imagine your day ahead. Whatever you've got going on. Again, keep a kind of neutral standpoint. And now as your intention this morning, I want you to envisage the best version of you going about your day. What do you look like? What energy do you have? How you're interacting with people. In the smallest details, just imagine that feeling within you. And let that be the intention we take into our day. To bring our best and brightest selves. Whatever the world throws at us in the 24 hours ahead. Now take an inhale to seal it within your heart. And exhale, let it out into the world. Namaste, guys. And welcome to your practice. So we're going to blink the eyes open and we're going to start off on all fours for me. So if you need to tap out the feet, feel free. Just come into a tabletop and we're going to take some small kind of movements just to get into the body. 
So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. As you inhale, we're going to drop the belly, lift the heart, find that cow pose. Big breath in. And as you exhale, tuck the tailbone down, round through the back of the heart, send the back of the heart towards the sky. Good. A few more times, inhaling, dropping the belly, lifting the heart, soften the elbows, pull back a little bit, find some space in the chest. And then exhale, tuck the tailbone round, back of the heart towards the ceiling, gaze towards the knees a few more times. So just moving with the breath, invite the breath to kind of set the pace to the movement. And you can either just stay linearly keeping these cat and cows, or if you want to add a little bit of movement of just swaying backwards and forwards as you do this. So getting into the hips, just unsticking anything we have left in the body, from that night before, any kind of sticky parts in our hips, in our wrists, in our shoulders, I invite you to just move into the body. Ask it, let it lead you with its intelligence to say, okay, where do I need to move to next? Just settle into the practice a little bit more. Good. Taking a few more rounds of breath. And then on your next exhale, I want you to drop the hips down come in towards the child's pose. And as you do, just lift high up on the fingertips for me. So we're just getting into the shoulders. We're lifting the forearms off the floor. We're finding length through the backs of the shoulders. And just give yourself a little bit of a shake from side to side. Again, just unknotting maybe all that junk that's left from being in bed for the last, hopefully, eight hours. Taking one more big breath in. Big breath out. And then inhale to slowly rise. Come back into all fours for me. This time I want you to tuck the toes under. Round through the upper back. Push through the big toes and lift the knees off the ground for me. So knees just come off maybe five centimetres. We're creating a little bit of heat this morning. I want you to pull the knees towards the wrists. Wrists towards the knees. There's like this magnetic energy lock. You should be able to feel it in your core. I'm sorry. <laughs> Breathe. Hold it there for three. For two, and one, hips high, heels low, downward facing dog. And as always, just check in with the hamstrings, check in with the spine, and make those subtle movements to just make that downward dog feel a little bit more accessible this morning. And then when you're ready, just come into stillness for me. The knees can soften, you can push the chest back towards the thighs, belly button in. Find that length through the spine and the back of the legs. And then connect to the breath. Find that breath you started with, that nice, easy rhythm. Taking a big breath in. Big breath out. And then on your next inhale, look forward. It's a hop, stem, step, or a short walk all the way towards the front. Good. Take a breath in, look forward, halfway lift. And exhale to fold, bring it all the way down. Twice more like that. The inhale, the unraveling, the rising, the length through the spine, halfway. And the exhale, the softening in towards the legs. One more time, big breath in, shoulders roll back, find length, engage through the heels. Exhale, bring it down. The breath in, push the weight into the heels, and then slowly begin to rise. So we just want to map out every single vertebra of the spine as we roll ourselves all the way up. As the shoulder blades roll back, take the arms up towards the ceiling, big breath in here. And then exhale, bring the hands towards your heart and close your eyes for a second. Take a pause. And hold no weight but yourself. No weight of the day ahead. No weight of whatever happened yesterday. Just you, this moment, and your breath. Two rounds of sun salutations just to get us going. So coming into Tadasana, let the arms face forward for me. Roll the shoulder blades back. Keep a nice neutral spine. Lift the chin slightly, notice what that does to the energy. 
And on your next inhale, raise the arms up, gaze towards your hips. Full length of the exhale, folding from the waist, hands find the floor, soften the knees. Take a breath in, look forward, lengthen. The breath out, plant the hands, step back towards your plank. Hold your plank for the first round. So really round through the upper back. Push the floor away, squeeze the glutes. Take a big breath in. The breath out, lower the knees down. Elbows, brush the ribs, half chaturanga. Drop the hips, lift the heart. Cobra or up dog. And as you exhale, send it back, downward facing dog. Three big deep breaths. So making sure there's equal weight between the hands and the feet. That the spine's long. Taking one more breath in. Big breath out. And then inhale, look forward. A hop, step, or a jump to the front. The breath in, look forward and lengthen. The exhale to fold, bringing it down. The inhale, root to rise, send the arms up high. Straight away, round two, same flow. Exhale to fold, bring it down. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back. Take a breath in. This time with or without the knees, lowering down, chaturanga. Don't let the shoulders pass the elbows. Keep the glutes engaged. Drop the hips, lift the heart, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, send it back, downward dog. Good. Let an exhale plant you in. Make any adjustments you need to. Just make sure you're wrapping those triceps in towards each other to create length in the upper back. Good. Moving from here. Right leg goes high. As you take the right leg up high, soften that left knee to create a little bit more length. Good. Take an inhale, lift the left heel off the ground. Exhale, send the left heel down. One more time, big breath in, lift it up. Exhale, left heel goes down and then bend the right knee, open up the hip. Right heel towards the glute, but try not to lean into the shoulders, keep the shoulders square. I want you to take a big breath in for me. And then as you exhale, bring that knee in towards that right elbow. So round through the spine, pass in towards your plank. Shoulders on top of the wrists, big breath in. And then as you exhale, drop the right knee to the left wrist. I know, I'm sorry. Take it over towards the left wrist. <laughs> bring it up towards the left elbow, making that square. Take it back over to the right elbow. Drop it to the right wrist. Take it to the left wrist. Left elbow, bring it across one more time. So trying to make that rectangle shape in between the arms, bring it to the left elbow, knee in towards the nose, and step the foot in between the hands. Oh, you're welcome. Back heel goes down, windmill the arms, rise, come in, virabhadrasana too. So front foot pointing forward, bring the weight to the outside of that right leg. A few pulses to get in towards the thigh, so inhale, just lift it up, lengthen. Exhale, drop it low. One more time. Big breath in to rise. Exhale, warrior two. Hold it there. Tuck the tailbone under. Keep the spine nice and long. Your next inhale, drop the left palm. Send the right arm high. So finding length through that right hand side with the head just crunching in towards the left. Strong through that right heel. Take one more breath. And then inhale, bring it through center. Right forearm drops down to the right thigh. Left arm comes over, side angle pose. So option to stay here. Option to bring the block towards the floor and place that right hand inside of that right foot. But left arm's going high. From here, we're going to move. So as you inhale, circle that left arm back and straighten the right leg just as much as you can. Two more times. The breath in, we bend the knee. We let the left arm lead, and as that left arm lifts up, lean back in towards that right thigh, and then straighten the right leg. One more time, big breath in, rising, opening it up. And the next time you straighten that right leg, hold it there, trikonasana. Gaze up at the left fingertips if you can. Really ground down through the knife edge of that left foot, and think about lifting up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Holding it there for three, two, and one. Take a big bend into that right leg. And with or without the block, look forward for me. 
lift up a little bit, come in towards your warrior two. You can bring the block with you, coming into a little bit of a balance. So bend through that right knee. Think of reaching forward as much as you can. Right hand comes down as you float that left leg up. We're coming in half moon position, Ardha Chandrasana. Flex the back toes. Try not to lock out that standing leg. And breathe. Squeeze the outside of that left glute. Taking two more breaths. Think length through both sides of the body. And then as you exhale, left foot next to the right. Bend the knees. Utkatasana. I threw it in. I know. <laughs> Arms high. Hips low. Hands can come to the heart if the shoulders are a little bit not open this morning. Breathe for three. Two and one. Exhale, release. <sighs> Take a moment. A breath. Let out an exhale. Notice already the effects of the movement on the body. The beat of the heart. The slight rush of the breath. And now coming in to the opposite side. So once again, starting with that salutation, arms high, big inhale. Exhale, hinging from the waist, just folding forward over. Take an inhale, look forward and lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, step it or jump it back, coming into your flow. So use the full length of the exhale to lower you down. Drop the hips, lift the heart, big breath in. Exhale, send it back, downward, facing dog, few big deep breaths. Try not to let the ribs flare, keep that belly button in towards the navel for this one. Coming in, left hand side. Left leg goes high, soften that right knee to give you just a little bit more slack. We're going to work with the right hamstring first, so inhale, right leg high, right heel high even. Exhale, right heel comes down. One more time, big breath in, bring it up. Exhale as you ground the right heel, bend the left knee, left heel towards the glute. Hold it there. Shoulders square, just trying to push that heel towards the right butt. Taking a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, use the full length of the exhale to bring the left knee towards the left elbow. Round through the spine, hold it there. Exhale, drop it to the left wrist. I know this sucks. Take it over to the right wrist. Bring it up to the right elbow. Send it back over to the left elbow. Making those squares with the body, drop it to the wrist. Take it over to the right wrist. Bring it back up to the elbow. Keep the upper back rounded. Take it to the left elbow. Left wrist, right wrist, elbow, knee to nose, I know. And step the foot in between the hands. Like it's not morning if we don't sweat a bit, right? Back heel comes down, windmill the arms, Virabhadrasana or warrior two. Bending through the knee. Got that nice external rotation through that left thigh. Arms out wide. Two pulses. Inhale, push through the heel to rise. Exhale, bring it low. One more time, big breath in. Exhale to set the foundation, set the pose, set the warrior. Try not to lean forward. Keep the weight back onto the pelvis. Your next breath in, drop the right palm, send the left arm high. Finding length through that left hand side, keep sending that left knee out towards the side. Taking one more breath, and then inhale, rising it up. Left forearm comes down to the left knee, right arm goes up. So think about just opening the chest here. Maybe staying here is fine. One long line from the back heel to the top of the fingertip. Or maybe you're bringing that block down inside of the left foot and sending that right arm high. If you place your hands on the ground, feel free, but don't let the butt choke out, yeah? On your inhale, circle that right arm back, straighten the left leg. A few more times, so slowly. Bending the knee, reaching forward with that right arm. As the right arm turns, lean back in towards the left thigh, find that opening, and then circle back towards the trikonasana. One more time for me. So bending through that leg, right arm forward, lean back, keep that connection, left thigh to the elbow, and then straighten the left leg, come in, trikonasana. Really push through the knife edge of the back foot. Notice if you can lift slightly. Notice if you can lengthen through the left hand side just as much as the right. Taking a few deep breaths. 
it doesn't feel good to lock up, just keep the neck nice and neutral. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Soften the left knee, look down. If you have your block and want to use it, bring it up with you as you do your warrior two. Good. Take a pause. Look forward. Notice where that block or the hand's going to land. So as you lean forward, really push through that left heel and slowly float on up. Right foot comes up as the left arm comes down, coming in half moon. Flexing the back toes, squeezing the right glute for extra stability. We think of lengthening out through the midline, crown of the heads reaching forward. Breathe for three, for two, and one. Bring in that right foot down. We're bending the knees, the arms are going high. We're coming in Ukatasana. Belly button in. Take a moment. Push the weight in towards the heels. And then as you inhale, lift the heels up high. Take a big breath. The exhale, we're going to slowly lower down to our glutes. Lower in for five, four, three, two, two and a half, and one. Bringing the butt down upon the ground. If you thought that was it, just a little bit more. Lean back onto the sit bones, lift the legs, coming in the vasana for me. Hands forward. Good. It's a great way to start the morning, right? Remember, best, best version of ourselves in Anavasana. So soften up your faces, relax a bit. Legs can straighten if you want more. Arms can straighten if you're a little bit of a boss this morning, but I'm shaking, so I'm going to go here. Thighs in towards the belly and breathe. Hold in for 10. We got this. Nine, spine nice and straight. Seven, crown of the head reaching up tall. For six. Five, keep that belly button in, thighs in towards you for four, for three, for two, and one. Release, cross the legs, come forward, just lean over the legs for me. Beautiful. And then slowly, I want you to make your way in towards a child's pose. So just take a moment for yourself this morning. That was the highest intensity you're going to get. So take a moment just to set up. So again, check in. And maybe just think about what the practice is highlighting for you. The state of mind, the way that you're approaching the postures, your asanas. I guarantee it's not going to be much different to how you approach life after the mat. So use this as a highlighter to see our patterns and if you need to change them. Take a big breath in, big breath out, and then slowly begin to rest. So we'll finish by stretching out those hip flexors, especially if some of you work at the desk. I think it's a good last place to finish. So from here, I want you to step the right foot forward for me. I want you to tuck the left toes under and then slowly begin to rise. So really keep engaged. You can place a, knee, a pillow underneath that knee if you need to. Really push through the left big toe. Tuck that tailbone under for now. So we're not sinking just yet. We're finding length should be able to feel that left hand side. And then from here, I want you to drop the left right palm down by the right side and send the left arm all the way up. I want you to take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, just lean towards the right. So without leaning forward, without compromising the lunge, slowly take that left arm over and you should be able to feel the left hand side a little bit more. Really push through the left big toe, squeeze the left glute, sending that hip flexors forward and add in a little bit more sensation. Good. Take a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, come back through center. I want you to send the left arm down and tuck the left toes and send the right arm all the way up for me. So we're coming into a little bit of a twisted low lunge. Hold it there. 
just take a moment. Take a breath. Just let the hips settle down. If that block needs to come under the left hand, it can. Take a big inhale. And just like we did at the beginning now, warriors, we're going to exhale and just circle the top arm back. As we straighten the right leg, only as much as you need to, as much as you want to. And then inhale, bend the knee, bring it forward. Exhale, opening that heart, leaning back, the straightening of the right leg. Now this time, as you bend the knee, we're going to hold it here. Open up the twist. Option to stay, option to just tuck that right hand behind you towards the left waist, leaning back a little bit. If you want the hips to get a little bit more sensation, you could turn onto the knife edge of that right foot, opening out through that right knee. And if, of course, you're pretty flexy this morning, that right hand can come back towards the left foot. Kick the foot back, open the heart, and just chill. Breathe into whatever's available for you. Notice that left hand. Notice if you're super trying to lock out the elbow. Can you soften the elbow, pull the shoulder blade back, find a little bit more length in the chest? Pulling that left foot closer towards the glute will get more in towards the quad. And breathe. Holding for three. Trying to soften with every exhale for two. And one, slowly release for me. I want you to bring both hands inside of that right foot. And we're just going to switch it around so we can step the left foot forward. Take the right foot back. Right knee comes down onto the ground. Good. Slowly rise up, coming in low lunge. So pull that left foot in. Tuck the right toes under. Tailbone tucks under. We're squeezing of the glutes. Again, we're not sinking. We're pushing the floor away. So we're using this energy to scoop the tailbone to find length through the whole of the spine. Now from here, left arm down, right arm high. Squeeze the glutes, big breath in. And as you breathe out, just start to lean towards the left hand side for me. As you push through that right big toe, you should be able to feel this whole connection running up the right side. Taking a few more breaths. And then as you inhale, rise. And tuck the toes. Sink low in towards the thigh and bring that right hand onto the ground. If the left foot needs to shuffle forward a little bit, feel free. Left palm goes high. Turn the right hands out a little bit just so we've got a little bit more support. And then from here, starting to move. So that circling of the left arm back, the straightening of that left leg. And again, think not about forcing or trying to get to the end point. Just enjoy the movement this morning. Just enjoy being in tune with the breath and with the body. Perfect. So the next time you come forward and the left knee bends, holding it there. Keeping the twist nice and open to the left. Maybe that left hand tucks behind you towards that right thigh. And then maybe you're turning onto the knife edge of that left foot. Breathing here, just leaning back, opening the heart space. Option to stay, option to grab the back toes if you want to or if it's available for you. If it doesn't feel good this morning, don't do it. You don't know what the world's going to be throwing at you after this video. So soften that elbow and lean back and just breathe into the expansion. Taking a few more breaths. Slowly releasing, bring both hands down. And we're just going to make our way onto the back. So whichever way is comfortable for you, you can step forward, you can bring your knees back. And then just lying all the way down onto the ground. We're going to end with a spinal twist this morning, just to reset the spine to feel pretty fabulous. So from here, bring the arms out wide. Bring the knees in towards you. Hands can be at a cactus as well. Then drop the knees towards the right, gaze towards the left. And just pause. Try not to force anything. Let the body just fall in its most natural position. Letting go of any control of the breath. And then inhale, 
bring it all the way up to the center. Opposite side now. So slowly dropping the knees towards the left, gaze towards the right. Counteracting with the other side. Notice if you're holding tension in the feet, let them soften too. And then inhale, bring it all the way up through center. Before we head into that Shavasana, come into Baddha Konasana feet, so a little bit of a hip opener. Bring the arms already by the side. And then just inviting in some new fresh energy this morning. So take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Two more times, inhaling that fresh, that new refilled energy. Exhaling any stuck energy. One more time, big breath in. Big breath out. And this is where I leave you to take this final Shavasana. Please do take it. Please just let everything go for at least three minutes. Give yourself the gift of that this morning. Permission to completely surrender. <laughs>